Okay, so I've previously done uh, a lot of speed tests on either SD card, SSD or USB sticks and uh, I've got all the results saved. Uh, so the SD cards I was going to concentrate on today because I bought two new SD cards. So I bought uh, the Magix 32 because the Magix card came out really well in the test, especially for price before. Uh, but I've also bought the Samsung 32 gig Evo because a lot of people recommend that even though it's not a uh, listed as an A1 card, it comes out really well in speed tests. So let's have a look at my speed tests. I've got them stored on my NAS drive. This one here. So, so far, uh, the best one has been the Kingston, has been the best card overall, uh, winning pretty much everything. Uh, so, yeah, so that's the best result. So let's pop that at the top. And then second, I think, is the Magics because the random read speed was quite low on this Sand SanDisk Extreme. The, the one thing about the SanDisk Extreme, it was from my GoPro, so it's the only one in these tests which wasn't a brand new card, uh, so it had been used before. Although actually the 16 gig uh, Magics I'd, I'd used before, and that still came out really well, but certainly the, the SanDisk has been in my GoPro, so I think they're probably in order. Yes, I've pretty much got them in order. Um, the disappointing one was definitely the NetAc, um, and I've got a video just on those because they're recommended as a, an A1 card by Amazon, but they're definitely not. Um, and when I contacted them, apparently it's just that the 32 gig card isn't A1 specs. Uh, so yeah, really disappointing in that. I was going to send them back, but I've got stuff on them, and uh, also it means I've got to go to a post office, which at the moment isn't isn't very convenient. So I'm probably just going to keep them because they were quite cheap. But I don't mind a cheap card performing to the specs that it recommends, but if you're going to call it A1, make it A1 speeds. Anyway, let's get on with the speed test. Uh, let's move this to the side and go to accessories and Raspberry Pi diagnostics. And this card cost me £7.26 from Amazon. So it's got a pass, show log. So initially it came up with a fail uh, because the random write speed was too slow, but the second time it did a pass. Uh, so it's certainly, it's certainly good enough for the Pi. Uh, the sequential write speed is pretty decent at 24,871. So it comes in probably, well, probably fourth in this test, doesn't it really? So let's copy that over. I'll leave all the results up and I'll also put them in the description. So I'm gonna put it I'm going to put it there and let's boot the system up with the Magix 32. So I need to save that and have a look at the Magix 32 and see how well that comes out. And this cost me £5.40, so very cheap. And it's also listed as an A1 card, so it should pass this test. There you go, so show the log. So the sequential write speed is slower, but the random write and read speed is very good. So let's copy that over. And overall, well, it's definitely better than the NetAc because the NetAc's awful because it fails the test. So I can put that up and it's probably gonna go in here, but I'll just, just double check those figures. So, because the Samsung does so well on the uh, sequential write speed, which I think is less important for an OS, uh, it still passes the random write speed and the random read speed is very good. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm probably gonna leave the Samsung above the Magix 32, but still you can save a bit of money by buying the Magix because it is a cheaper card. But, uh, but yeah, overall, pretty good results. So the Kingston is definitely the top one but it is the most expensive one. The SanDisk 64 Extreme, uh, because it was used in my GoPro, it's not really a fair test for it. So if someone else has got results they could post, but only using the Raspberry Pi uh, diagnostics, so it's the same test. Uh, that would be interesting. Uh, the Magic 16 still comes up really well. I don't know why that is so good and is, 
is better than the 32 card and is better than the Samsung Evo as well, although not quite as good on random read speed. That random read speed is very impressive and a lot of people have been recommending this card. It isn't an A1 rated card, but it achieves A1 speeds and actually well surpasses them. So yeah, actually the Samsung's really good and, and people say that it also is good at holding data as well. Uh, so it's a reliable card. So you pay your money, you take your choice. I hope this all helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.